my name is John Wong from Georgia Tech. I'd like to give a talk on a trouble electric energy generator as a self-powered sensor. Trouble electricity is known to everyone. We have shown that trouble electricity can serve as a driving force for current flow and external load we call trouble electric nano generator. As you can imagine, it's a device to convert energy from mechanical to electric. Such a phenomenon is well known from our nature, from the 1880s, what is virtual machines, to 1929 nanograph machine. Most use this one as a voltage source rather than a power source. Today we want to show you this can be a very good self-powered sensor. Our work can be back to 2011. Use two pieces of polymer to can generate a volt, three volts, or five volts output. This was to use the trouble electricity between two organic materials. And the content and separation between the two give you the output. This was the first trouble electric nano generator invented by us. If you look at the molds, we have the contact separation mode. Two material become contact, trouble electricity occurs. Separate to a gap of distance, the voltage will drop electrical flow to build the field, to rebalance the field. When you close the gap, the electron flows back. So this cycle of motion drives electrical flow back and forth in external load, give you an uh, AC signal. So in other words, this mechanical agitation produces a voltage or current signal. Reversely, this current or voltage signal reflects the mechanical agitation. That's the fundamental principle of our self-powered sensors. A sensor, it gives electric signal itself without supplying a power. We have four modes, contact, separation, linear sliding, single electrode, a freestanding mode. Utilize this four mode for energy harvesting was covered in the lecture I did on trouble electric energy for self power system and blue energy. Here we particular about for sensors. Sensors can be for many purposes. Here we call self power active sensor. Many sensors will not work if you have no power supply. The sensor will not produce a signal unless you have a power supply. This is the sensor. It produces electric or voltage current output by itself. That's why it called self power or active sensor. That's response, a sensor that responds to nature environment itself without even an external power apply. This was the early example show that we have a water drop here. A dip of water on the surface give you the electric spike here. And this is the video. You can see you put a fur or water drop here, you can have the sensor function very sensitive. You can take the voltage or current. You have this mechanical agitation. A very good sensitivity, particularly for light object and for the low pressure application. So they convert mechanical tricking into an electric signal by our proper electric nano generator. The second example is sliding, this displacement. If you make a device, one slide against the other one, at the interface here, the trouble electricity can occur, give you a voltage and current output. If you detect the voltage, which have a signal like this, and like the shape of signal, give you the displacement of two objects. This can have a resolution up to 173 nanometer, no power applied. No optical means, no power applied for this. And this is a self camera signal by displacement. So it's a good technique for MIMS devices. The third example I'll show you is this traffic control. When the automobile move on the floor here, you can electrostatic induction current or voltage in the device impact on it. In such a case, you can measure the speed, the distance, the acceleration of everything social with this moving vehicle. 
no string attached, no wires attached to the core. So you can measure this kind of parameters for your wish. You can have an alarm system, for example. You trigger the door handle here, you can have an alarm system. This is uh, tricking the sensor part, does not need power. This is a something put under this, the carpet here. You step on this one, this can generate a signal and can control the, the, uh, the alarm system remotely. This thing can even build on paper. If you step on a paper here, you touch the paper here, you can generate trouble electricity which can trigger a long system as well, right? So again, this is called self-powered alarm system for um, security purposes. You can also track the sound source, for example. You can have a sound source, you can track where the sound wave come from. And the three nano channel located here, you trigger different points. You can locate the location where the sounds come from, from the phase shift of the, the uh, waves from the three uh, nano jet and here. The accuracy can be a few centimeters, a few centimeters. You can also trace a, a body inside the tube. If you have a ball flow inside the tube, when the ball flow down the path, you can generate a voltage or current inside this coil here. It's just a, a lateral here. Measure it, you can, you can detect where the ball is. Flows to okay. So this is again contact electrification between the ball and the substrate. Here is example. This is the tube, okay. and you can see the, the ball flows here. You can see the crescent light going here. Tell you where the ball is. Okay. So this can be a this is for a dry ball here, and this is another example. Show that this is a, that you can you can you can fly the ball through here. See whether the crescent light flashes. Okay. And also can be detect the the uh, the, the uh, uh, even partially uh, filled with liquid is possible to have this kind of detection for motion here. Right? So this is just trouble electricity between a ball and a ball can position detection. You can do this on paper. Because paper is a good trouble-electric material. So you can build it on this piece of art here. You roll in the art. You roll in the art, you can see the light flash here. And this can be for, 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 for the uh, detection. Anybody touch this kind of art. You can put this on a lab book. You add somebody for, uh, press the lab book, or which way it is, there's an electric signal can generate it. And you can put it in your notebook. If somebody flip the page of the book, there's a signal generated here. This is paper can make proper light generator for, uh, for the sensing. You can use a, a self-powered uh, keyboard. We can use keyboard for electricity generation. But here we rather show that the keyboard can be a highly secure keyboard because when you type a letter, every type different. Somebody type this one, you use a finger touch one key to the other key, the time difference, and also the way you press the key is distinct one person to the other. It's very unique, it's very hard to reproduce here, even more secure than the fingerprint. And again, this relies on the single mode contact electrification uh, generated here. This is a single mode, probably like generator. If you contact, they can generate current, if you leave it here. So this, this contact and this departure can fully record the dynamic process of you touch the, this, uh, this keyboard. Two signal. The voltage tell you the magnitude, the highest at which you contact an object. The current gives you the dynamic process. How fast was the acceleration uh, of you touch the keyboard from here to here? Let me show you the example here. This is the keyboard here. We have three students here. They type the same phrase called touching. And this is the voltage out from student number one, student number two, student number three. You can see the signal. They are completely different. They are completely different. Each associated with the way they type it. Okay. Let's look at 
this video shows the way they they type in here. And this is a, a keyboard, but social is our keyboard design here. Uh, when he typed in, he, may, he know the password. He cannot get the computer system because the way he typed, the current generated or voice generated does not match the signal recorded in the computer system. This is the second one. His typing does not match that one because we know this is somebody else's computer, not his computer. The third guy come in and I bet he cannot get in. The reason because he doesn't look at the other guy. So he cannot get in. Then we have the, hopefully the owner comes, shows up. When he type in, the way he type to match the system. The password is correct. The way he type is correct, he can get in. Medical purposes. We can do this sensors here, put on a chest, put on a wrist, and uh, can put the carotid arteries and, and, and everywhere you're supposed to be. And we can detect the heartbeat and propagations inside the body from one location to the other location to the other location. Most important, you can detect all these fine details. This is not only just count how many bits you have, but more importantly, detect the feature you have on, on, on a bit. And this is fundamentally important for health uh, uh, monitoring and the disease diagnostics. Okay, so this person, you can, you can wear this one and get a physiological characteristic and, and record on, on, on a computer here. Yeah. As you see that, we can detect all these fine features, very sensitive, particularly low pressure here. All these characteristics, risks associated with the host condition or person. And after analyzing the characteristics of four different students here, you can see they are different. They are different. Young people and old people are distinctly different, right? You can see this is a, uh, the, uh, this is a young adults right here. And this is an old person. They are gigantic, different. And you can plot those signal versus the age of a person. We detect from about 40, 50 people, and from age 30 to 70, you can see this plot from some statistical trend. Again, this provides a fundamental for health monitoring and diagnostic purposes for uh, use of our power production energy as a self powered sensor. You can also record it, for example, you can put on the floor here. And this is recorded only sensitive to the to the to the vibration of the floor, to the speaker itself. And this, when she talks, you may have the environmental noise here, for example. In the environmental noise here, you there's TV play, there's a background noise, and she's talking. This microphone only detects. Her, her voice is here. When we play here, then we have a pure voice for her. So this is an anti interference microphone. Factory is our proper electric nano generator. For health monitoring that, we can do the health belt. And this belt is made of rubber. And this rubber, when a student's breathing back and forth, there's, there's stretching, release, or stretching, release can generate all these electric signals here. And you can see this is associated with the environmental monitoring here. You can see the voltage or current both reflect different signal. The voltage reflect how far this rep stretches. The current reflect the rate at which he or she breathes. And this one can be put on the knees to detect the, the walking of the knee. And this can for robust robotic control and signals and many things, right? So this kind of thing is tell you we can convert biomechanical actions to electric signal use our proper living nanogen as a self-powered sensors. We also can use this for chemical detection because surface charge density in the proper electric generated the surface of materials depends if you function with different nanoparticles, different size of particles, you can gigantic enucleate of the voltage and current. Reversely, this can use it as a template for chemical sensing. And we did the work, for example, utilize detect the mercury content. You can see in the, in the surface we have 
the gold particle, and they'll have a particle that's social with different mercury content from 10 nanomole to 100 micromole. You can see the current change is gigantic increase here. And also, this can be selected. You choose the nanoparticle on which the mercury will attach. You can do the selectively sensor, which only sends to mercury, not the rest of the ions. So you can do the chemical sensors based on this new principle. So, summary. We show that this tropical energy as a cell power sensors. This can detect them, particularly mechanical actions, agitations, triggering, or vibrations. Anything associated with that, we'd be able to detect it, convert a mechanical tricking or action into an output voltage or current that give you the sensors information required that. Two important characteristics remember. The output voltage reflect the magnitude of the tricking, the current reflect the dynamic process at which the mechanical tricking occurs. I hope this lecture helped you to understand the problem nanogenerator as a self-power sensors. Thank you.